Okay, let's do this. what you came for. We got this. See, we got a massive crit there. So we sidestep, shotgun. Did you see all the damage we just did to him? Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, I think we are going to try um, uh, hardcore dust up. I just really want to to take on that challenge um, and see how we do. Plus, the payout is just amazing, anyways. Um, but we're not going to speed run it, uh, at least not for the first time, until I, I kind of get a feel for it. My understanding is that the fight is, uh, you know, exactly the same as the the normal dust up mission, which I've done like three or four times now. But you know, the boss is just has more hit points and stuff like that. Um, so I have um, I, I've done I did another one or two dust ups off camera, just normal, uh, and I did another deep vein extraction run too. So this is where we're currently at with our currency, and um, so we don't really have. A lot going for us um, in terms of currency. However, um, I was thinking about maybe getting this ultra meal. Well, I guess the ultra meal doesn't really make sense if you're not going to do a speed run. That's stamina, that's water, that's O2. Provides bandage modifier for one second. Yeah, I don't, why would anybody spend money on this? Unless it also heals. Because you can make bandages from fiber. That doesn't make sense. Unless it also heals. If it heals, then yeah, I could see it. Anyway, um, I did go ahead and get the MXC furnace. I don't think I had done that while I was on camera with you guys. And um, this is the micro meal. So this is probably worth getting for speed runs. Uh, I'm not, but because we're not going to speed run this time around, um, I don't think we'll do that. Now, one thing I was thinking about, though, is... Finding a suit that has two module slots. Uh, this one, for example. Um, this Okay, so this is pr um, minus 5% perceived threat when stealthed. And two module slots. What's this one? Okay, we already have that one. That doesn't have any module slots. That is one module slot. I think that's the one we start with. One, two, 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 two. What's the difference between... Between this and this, two oxy water minus five. Two. Oh, this only has one slot. Okay, interesting. Why? Why is that even there? It's not like attached to anything. That's really weird. I don't know. Uh, what does this give us? Okay, this gives two modules and five physical resistance. And by the way, the reason I um, I want to do a, a two module slot is so that we can uh, stack the mass dampeners. Because my understanding is that um, you can stack these. So you know, with the backpack running with knives and two of these, we'll really be able to scoot along. Uh, again, though, more useful for speed runs, I guess, than normal missions. But I mean, handy normal missions too, because you still have to run all over the place. So, anyways. Uh, this one would give the two module slots and five physical resistance. That one wouldn't be a bad one to do. And we can definitely afford it. So why don't we do that? Um, okay, so this has 10 physical resistance. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Five, two, one, and one. 10 to 1 and 1, and minus 5% perceived threat. Yeah, this one is actually the one we I think we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft that. Okay, and then I want to craft another mass dampener. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, so that takes care of that. So our plan for for doing a uh, desktop hardcore is, is this our new one? Yeah. Okay. That's actually a really good suit. I should have gotten that one a long time ago. 
Uh, anyway, our plan for doing Dust Up Hardcore is uh, we're going to... Uh, I think I'm going to go back with the other backpack, which I guess I can't see from here. I wonder if that's a bug. Um, see, yeah, it doesn't show up there. I have to. What I have to do is I have to go... Whoops. I have to go back to the character selection screen. And then back in again to see all of my stuff. It's kind of weird. I don't know. There we go. Okay. So, um, this is, again, this isn't going to be a speed run. Um, so let's get the other backpack that gives us more carry weight for ore and stuff. Uh, we definitely want this. And we're going to want our MXC furnace because I am going to, my plan is to grind to either the shotgun or the bolt rifle. I haven't decided yet exactly which one we're going to do. So that means we have to sacrifice one more thing here. And I think that thing, because this is going to be a long-term mission, uh, can be the axe. Because we can always just make a stone axe to get started with until we, until we can grind to the iron axe. Um, okay. And we've got the stove, the campfire. This is just too useful not to have because of the fact that you can set it down anywhere, light it up, and the wind and rain will not put it out. That's what makes this so handy. Uh, plus the fact that both of these are a little more efficient on fuel, like 25% more. Okay, so I think that's the loadout, <coughs> excuse me, that we're going to do. Okay, so let's go back to here. New prospect, and we're going to go down to um, Dust Up Hardcore Extermination. We have six hours to do this. Um, you know, the thing about this, though, as I'm sure you all know, is if I die, I lose this character. So... <laughs> But you know what? If that actually happens, this character's done. I mean, that's all there is to it. And we roll a new one. Oh, that would suck, though. But you know what? <clears throat> nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Okay. They got a special kind of trouble. Maybe you heard rumors, but a sandworm's no joke. You'll need to track it down and get rid of the thing. Okay. Somehow. Yeah. All right. So again, my understanding is that the fight is exactly the same. Everything works exactly the same in this mission. It's just that, you know, the boss has 30% more health and can move like 10% faster, that sort of thing. Um, so my plan is guys to, to base up in that really big, enormous cave that I showed you a few, uh, you know, a few, um, episodes ago. Uh, because all the resources are just right there. And even if I did need some more stuff, there's other caves nearby. And we're going to build up to the shotgun and, um, you know, and get everything else that we need. And then once we're ready to go, uh, we're going to take them on. And th there's really two strategies to fighting this worm. There's the close-up version uh, where he, the worm uh, has, you know, diff a different set of attacks. And then there's the far away version uh, with, with its own set of attacks. And the far away version of fighting this worm take it takes a lot longer to kill him um right so, now, you're on your own. so the close-up version is going to be better not a lot of folk raising their hand to tangle with a sandworm we got intel on the last place anyone saw it check your map and track it down if you make it through there'll be a payday waiting okay Good luck. all right so yeah um my plan is like i said to um, I'll run around and, <clears throat> and do all of the, you know, find the three sign, worm sign thingamadoodles. I'll get that out of the way. And then somewhere right around here, I think, is where that big cave is. And that's where we're going to set up shop and grind to the shotgun and get, you know, other supplies that we need so that we're well supplied. Because I do not want to lose this character. I really don't. Um, and then when I'm ready to take on the actual sandworm, uh, I'll bring you guys back. I might bring you back for a couple of updates in between. Then we'll just see how things go. All right. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back and I'm just about ready to take off here. Um, so let's see. We have a little more gunpowder, just a tiny bit more in there. Uh, so what I have done is I've made... Um, both the shotgun and the rifle. And the only reason I made the rifle is because I could. I mean, we're in this cave with all these resources, and I was kind of waiting around for gunpowder and other things. So I said, what the heck, let's just make the rifle. Uh, so I've got <coughs> the shotgun with 62 
um, shells, and then I've got the rifle with 41 incendiary rounds, uh, plus, you know, what's in the chamber of both weapons as well. Uh, we found some squash and went up to the, back to the forest, got a little bit of wheat for flatbread. We got a bunch of meat for healing, and um, we are... I'm pretty sure we're massively overprepared for this. Um, so we're going to sleep. Oh, you know what? I need to put my um, uh, this thing back down for a second. And I uh, need to get something in there for it to burn. We could actually make one more um, poison thing, too. I don't think we'll need it, but you never know. So since we can, we will. Uh, no. What do I need? Oh, I need the, um, the epox. Wait a minute. What? What do I need for the poison? Oh, right. We got to make the paste first. Okay. So, pull this out of here. Nope. I'm not trying to sleep quite yet. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm like so confused. Okay, yeah, we're trying to make paste. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's make a paste. And then we'll make one more poison um, elixir. I've got six right here. And um, I might actually put that down here on the toolbar. Okay, and then let's make one more of those. And we should be good to go. Uh, wood. Yeah. Okay. Activate. Okay, I'm wait waiting to sleep so we get the we get the bed buff as well. Um, and again, like I said, over preparing. I know I am, but I had the time to do it, and so I figured for our first time because again, I do not want to lose this character after all the work that we've put into it. You know. Uh, all right, let's stick that in there, and now we can sleep. Okay, cool. So we've got the, the bed buff, uh, which basically gives us all that stuff down there, which is going to just every little bit's going to help, right? All right, let's pick this up. Now, I got the first worm sign already. I did that off camera, but uh, we're going to have to get the other two. So let's get that going and that going. And we want to put the rifle back down here. I also um, got the platinum pickaxe and the platinum knife. The platinum knife does quite a bit more damage than my skinny knife. Uh, again, just because the resources were right there and it didn't really cost me any more time to do that. So as you can see, we have, it's, we're have we three hours and 19 minutes left. We started with six, so it's taken me a, about a little over two and a half hours to get to this point. And, you know, doing this in the future, I, I can do that, you know... I can go a lot quicker than I have, is what I'm trying to say. Because I'm I'm not really trying to speed run this the first time anyways. Um, but now that I kind of have a feel for things, I could probably get to the shotgun. The rifle's going to be nice, but not absolutely necessary. Um, based upon the way I'm planning on fighting uh, the worm. Um, so I could probably get to the shotgun and, and be pretty much ready to go. And I'm thinking roughly two hours. And considering the payout of this quest, that is that's some pretty good money. I'm assuming I, I can do it in two hours anyways. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to run uh, to the two other two worm signs, uh, and then I will meet you guys at the boss, and we will hopefully take that bastard down. Okay, guys, we are at uh, the boss here. Um, I'm going to wait for my berry buff to wear off. Um, cause I want to, I want the meat buff for the extra health. And, uh, we, we're going to kill the critters in the immediate vicinity. We need one of them as bait anyways. So let's, uh, let's just butcher them so they don't attract other predators. Sometimes other predators will show up to this fight and get in the way and be a pain in the ass. Uh, we're going to leave the cougar carcass there. And we'll use him as bait when we're ready to go here. That one's far enough out to where I'm not really worried about him. Just the ones in the immediate vicinity that might be a problem for us. He's probably far enough away to where we don't need to worry about him either. Well, he's kind of close. Probably not, but let's just get him anyway. 
Uh, we're going to lose our bed buff too, but that's alright. At least it helped us run to the other two locations real quick. So yeah, we're going to do the, the close-in method uh, of fighting this guy, and that's why I made the shotgun. So basically, you know, if you haven't seen it, he's going to lunge at us several times. We have to dodge the lunge, um, but each time he does that, if we can get a shotgun shot off on his head, we do massive crit damage. Um, and then, you know, he also has his... Uh, him to get a little bit closer here we'll use him as bait now uh he also does his other attack where he then lunges and then lays on the ground for a little while and that's when you can really wail on him and again just shotgun blast to the head and then when we have the opportunity to range him uh, we'll use the rifle and we want to um we want to wait till he opens his mouth though first now, the safer way to do this quest, if you can manage the poison, is to do the ranged version, um, which probably could work well for us because we do have the rifle with the explosive rounds. Um, because when you stay further away from him, instead of doing the lunge thing, he, he just spits poison at you. Um, okay, so let's take bread and a squash and a meat okay um we're gonna top these off this all the meat down on our toolbars for healing of course and i think we're ready to do this you guys let's make sure everybody's loaded up we'll start with the rifle and Try laying some bait to learn wish me out. luck i'm a little nervous just because we only got one shot at this Okay, let's do this. this. Is what you came for. We got this. See, we got a massive crit there. So we sidestep, shotgun. Did you see all the damage we just did to him? Sidestep, shotgun. Sidestep. Shotgun. Okay, now this is his big lunge. And now we just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I figured I'd be able to kick his ass pretty easy this way, but I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys. Shotgun is king. Absolute king in this fight. It's worth it to take the time. You know, it, it, if you do everything right, you should be able to get to the shotgun and, and in about two hours. So let's say if you just are really kicking ass and, and being as efficient as possible, you could probably knock this quest out in, I'd say, two to two and a half hours with the shotgun. Um... And, you know, it takes a little bit longer than some other methods where you could, you know, just speed run it with the bow or the knife. But it's just, I mean, you just wreck this guy so fast. So anyway, wow, that uh, that exceeded my expectations, I have to say. <laughs> it really did. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I will, uh, as usual, see you guys back at the pod and we will get our awesome, awesome reward. Man, that was cool. All right, guys, we're back at the pod. Took me probably, I don't know, what, maybe five minutes to run back. You cooked it, friend. Whew, okay. In the day's work. Yep. When you help the Lagos unit, you're helping the people who own this planet. You can't go far wrong. All right, so that took me about three hours to do. Uh, and again, I was definitely not speed running this. Um, I think what I might try and do is do it again. Um, with still, you know, with the shot, but shotgun, but try and figure out a way to maybe knock it out and say two hours or so it could probably be done if I really, really, um, work hard at it. Uh, but anyway, let's get our reward, man. This is, I don't, is this like the highest paying quest in the game? I don't know, but man, it sure does pay a lot. Look at that. 750 coin and a hundred, um, 
uh, whatchamacallits, exotics. <laughs> that's awesome. We're up to 1160 and 193. Oh, man, that is just amazing, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's go to the workshop here. Um, so we are wanting to... Uh, we're wanting to work towards the picks, uh, the better pick, and also the um, the better knife, or the top end knife, I guess I should say. And um, I was looking at maybe learning Ultra Meal just because for speed runs this would be really good to have. Um, plus ten stam, plus ten health, less water, food, and oxygen consumption. Um, that would be just really nice to have. The rest of these. I'm not super impressed with, to be honest with you. Um, and then, let's see, what else? The suit inventory slots are not bad. Poison resistance. That could be somewhat useful, I guess, for a, uh, you know, for the worm, the boss fight. Patcher 2 module. Animal highlighting mode. Yeah, I don't really like that stuff. I think it's, it's immersion breaking. That's my own personal opinion, of course. Um, so falling resistance, nah. Now, these also could be useful for speed runs. You know, just to have the anti-poison vaccine, you pop it right before the boss, and then you don't even need to worry about having the poison uh, elixir. It does cost 100 each time, but, you know, for a speed run that's paying out as much as that sucker pays, I don't know. That's, that's questionable i'm not so sure i'm convinced that that's actually worth it uh, i would like to get squash farming packet um, in fact these things are so cheap let's just research them now um because that way you know we'll have access to squash when we do stuff in the forest um and then same thing for mushrooms too really let's just get all the way up to shrooms that way, you know, if we do a longer mission in the forest, we have access to shrooms and mushrooms that can make the really good food. Okay, so that takes care of all that stuff. And um, let's learn this. Okay, so we got that learned. And that still leaves us 810 plus 193. So I think here from here on out, I'm going to just start saving up my points. What is this? Berry farming? Who would spend money on that? That's... Yeah, watermelons, I mean, I guess if you were in the desert, but carrots, berries, and watermelons are just abundant. It's too bad we had to take wheat to get up there. That's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Anyway, um, so I think our next goal is to get to the Anaris Neves pickaxe. Um, and my goodness, that's going to cost a lot. I wonder if it would be worth it for us to get... Um, this one here, this gives you a 10% extra yield from mining uh, iron. I don't think so, though. I think we're just going to stick with our dong pickaxe until we can actually get all the way up here. But I got a lot of exotic farming to, to do for that to, to happen. And actually, dust up is not necessarily the best way to farm those exotics. Unless I can, uh, unless I get to a point where I'm doing this with a bow or a knife and truly speed running it. And then, you know, then it might be worth it to do that. Because, you know, I can run deep vein extraction. Um, it takes me like an hour and 10 minutes-ish. And, you know, we're talking hundred almost 130 exotics from two of the runs there. So I guess, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're both good options. We'll just have to, to see which ones I think is better. And there might even be a couple others you know, that are, are good too, that, uh, other prospects that I haven't done yet that could be good too. Anyway, uh, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this again off camera. Um, uh, and again, grinding to the shotgun and I'm just going to see how fast I can do it. Uh, we only used about 20 shotgun shells too. So I ma made way more of those than I needed to. Uh, we're not going to bother with the rifle unless I can make it without, um, it costing me any more time. Um, and just see how quickly I can knock out uh, desktop hardcore again um, with speed uh, with a what well, well I shouldn't say speed run but with the shotgun but as quickly as possible because 
you know, doing it with the bow or the knife, which some people do, is gonna, definitely going to be faster. But doing it with a shotgun is safer, like way safer, as I demonstrate. In fact, I'm going to time that fight. I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know how long it took me to kill that boss, but uh, we, I, we brought him down way faster than I thought we were going to. And you know, everybody that I've seen do do this because I've watched a couple of videos after I killed the boss the first time myself, mind you. Um, uh, other people can do it, but it takes them a long time. I mean, it's a really, really long fight, you know, and the longer that fight drags on, the more risk there is, of course, of something bad happening and you losing your guy. So anyway, that is it for today. Not sure what we'll do next in terms of the next video, um, but we will figure that out when the time comes. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.